dónde vas? Te voy a llevarte a la escuela. Rápido, abre la puerta. Mi madre está ahí, no puedo tener. Vas a llegar tarde, vámonos, 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 vámonos. It looks like Ria doesn't have school. She told me that there was no school today, but next week is President's Day, so I thought she made a mistake. We just went to school and nobody was there. Teachers had like a work day. How's it going, guys? Let me talk a little bit about something I just discovered. When I first started keto almost two years ago, I noticed that I started getting back pains on my uh, lower left side, and I just associated that with, you know, higher activity. I also had back problems before, so I kind of just dismissed it. I just figured, you know, I'm getting older. And then last year, and during summer, right before we went to Japan, I felt like uh, a lot of pain. I thought it was my wallet, so that's why I started carrying this, so that I don't have to carry the, my wallet in my back pocket. But then I remembered that in the fall and when we were in Mexico, it wasn't hurting. And then now that I'm being strict again, it started hurting again. So I started putting things together and I'm like, well, I wonder if my back is hurting because I'm on keto. The stricter I got, the more painful it became. And then when I started cheating and then I was just eating like carbs pretty much every day, like in Mexico, it wasn't hurting at all. I decided to Google it and I knew this before. I knew that uh, the keto diet has the potential to give you kidney stones or at least irritate the kidneys. But I, again, I just Googled it and it turns out that the kidneys like right there is exactly the place where I'm getting pain. I found some of the reasons being dehydrated for one and then also eating too much animal protein. And because I'm not tracking my macros, potentially I could be eating too much protein because I drink a lot of coffee. So maybe I'm not drinking enough water. I'm gonna try to drink some more water, stay hydrated. The biggest thing is the protein Obviously my favorite uh, keto meals are high on protein. So I'm gonna try to put an effort into eating a little bit less protein, a little bit more healthy fat, and uh, hopefully that will fix it. Hey guys, we're going to go watch a movie, but I didn't want to get tempted or uh, feel hungry later. So uh, we stopped at Burger King. This is the first time that I order a Whopper without bun from Burger King. Look how much lettuce they give you. All right, guys, so after a couple of days of not being able to use the drone that I got, finally, we got a nice weather, a little bit windy, but not crazy like yesterday. And so here is the footage that I got. guys it's only been a couple of hours since I told you guys about my discovery of the kidney pain and ever since then I, all I've been doing is just drinking as much water as I could and you're not gonna believe me but the pain is gone so I guess when I'm dehydrated it starts hurting I don't know I'm not sure how it went away so fast I've just been drinking and drinking and drinking water so I guess uh, if you feel some kind of lower back pain while you're on keto it might be your kidneys if that's the case. Just make sure you stay hydrated and uh, I guess just watch your protein too. Anyways, I just finished dinner so let me show you what we're gonna eat. All right, so I was trying not to eat as much meat so I just put some bacon in there and a couple of sausages. But everything else is pretty much uh, vegetables, coconut milk, uh, tomato sauce, and a whole lot of fat. And I also cooked some uh, broccoli with cauliflower. So that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be dinner. Good morning guys, I just dropped off the girls and today I don't really have uh, anything other than editing. 
so before I get started with editing I decided to come here and I practice uh, with the drone a little bit uh, and just a quick mention my back is hurting again uh, or at least my kidneys whatever it is so hopefully I can drink water all day and be okay that rhymed all right guys check this out ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? How's it going guys? Today is Valentine's Day and for the most part it's been a pretty slow week aside from some uh, drone flying and one or two weddings that I've shot. Mostly I've just been editing videos so I can catch up so that when we're in Australia if I don't have time to uh, stop and edit then I have some on standby so I can upload for you guys every Wednesday. We still have a couple more weeks before we fly out to Australia but I'm already kind of getting everything ready. I got some uh, backpacks online because we're going to be doing the camper van lifestyle so uh, it seems like luggage will be a little bit too big. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let me go pick up Megu so we can go eat lunch. Oh, right on the table. Oh, wow. <laughs> Occasion, the wine should have happened. Put your shells in the bucket and enjoy it. Thank you. That's Hey guys, so for tonight's dinner, uh, I got the recipe from the Mio Lime app, which has a keto friendly option, and then this is what I got. So the recipe was uh, bacon wrapped chicken with some vegetables. And then as always, I added a salad, and then this is some leftover clams from lunch today, and also some soup. 
How's it going guys? It's Friday and I just got this package. 40 16 gig SD cards. So in case you don't know, me and my wife are both photographers here in Waikiki. And we've been using the cards that we have now for almost going on five years. And a lot of them are starting to give out. So to avoid any serious issues later on with the card going bad, I decided to buy some new cards. So each of us is gonna get 20 of them. We normally both walk around with four cases. Each case has eight cards inside. Mm -hmm. 